Dan Armstrong. I'm an Adobe Education Leader, and I am finishing up project number five for our app generation uh, class. So this is my app for Skyview Hawks. Uh, as you can see, this is the home page, a nice title bar here at the top. Uh, these are buttons that actually take you out to other pages, announcements, calendar, handbook, teacher directory, power school, the map, uh, counseling center, other things, message board. At the bottom, I put in buttons. Uh, I'll be back, home button. This one's the calendar. Uh, this would be the directory, and then this would be out to the power school. And so those would link back to these pages so you wouldn't have to come back to the home page for everything. Uh, and I noted on these, this is a top level page. This is level one. Uh, and I noted also I need to add the bell schedule as one of these options. So uh, I look at another page of the app here. Uh, so this would be like the announcements page. So there'd be a date and a time drop down arrow. So as you drop that down, it pushes everything down. Uh, and then you can see the dates um, in here. Some of the feedback I got on the app was that I should perhaps put in uh, a subject line or something in here, but uh, for the announcements, I felt like maybe that wasn't as critical. Uh, and again, we kept consistency with the same bottom bar. Uh, we've moved this Hawks logo to the top with Skyview. That'll stay there. This is a level three page. Uh, level three are the ones that open up to details um, like that. So the next page is a level two page. So this looks at the calendar. So from the home page, we would hit uh, the calendar button here and it would open to this page. And then there's a spot here for a sports logo for athletics, a logo for the scholars, a logo for a club and a logo for the community. Uh, we'd center those buttons in the middle. Down here at the bottom, I after talking to the person who reviewed my app, there'd be a subscribe button which would have a form where you could choose things like if it says tennis or football, then I would like to get an announcement to my phone um, for those. And so we would include that this way with the subscribe button. It would just go out to a Google form or something where they would then take, fill it out, um, and then it would enter their preferences. So when people filled out the calendar events and chose those things, then the two databases could kind of match up and give the user what they wanted. Uh, and this is a level two page where it's kind of broke down into secondary buttons and those will open up to another page. Uh, so then uh, here's another level three. This is what the athletics calendar would look like. Uh, so if you went into the level two page and clicked on athletics, it would open to this. Uh, and then at the top, these headers, it would have the day of the week. We felt like that was important, especially in a high school student's life. Uh, the date, 6.15, and the, the event, soccer. Uh, we talked about having the time, but then if you need time, you need place, location, and that's where we put the drop-down arrow in. Uh, so this would be Skyview versus Bishop Kelly at 1 p.m. on the south field. Uh, no concessions available. Contact this person for more information. And we thought a direction button would be important, too, if it's an away game. Uh, we could include directions here that would link out to, like, the Maps app or something. So then here are the other events. Uh, the first one I ran into a problem because I tried to do it like I did the announcements page where it just kind of kept the current one at the top. But athletics actually has to go in reverse. So we start at 615, 17, 19, 20, 24, 26 uh, with down the side the days of the week, arrows to open those up to read the details, and then buttons down here at the bottom. So this would be a level three page. Um, and then we would use this same page for the other calendars as well, whether it be athletics or scholars, whatever. We wanted to keep it very consistent. Uh, so then we use this level three page similarly for the teacher directory, uh, A through Z down on the side. Uh, this would look very similar to a contacts page you would find in your Apple device. Uh, and then down here are the buttons that are the same. When those open up, it would give you the teacher's name, uh, the foods and culinary courses and their schedule. Uh, so this is a foods and culinary teacher, Jimmy Dean. Uh -huh. uh, A1 through 4 for his A day, B1 through 4, and then his contact email address down here at the bottom um, for the teacher directory. Then inside of this is now a second level page uh, for the handbook. 
Uh, we still have the Hawks logo across the top, sky view. So these are buttons that will take you out to additional pages, not merely drop downs. Uh, so we have general info, school info, policies, technology, athletics, uh, academic eligibility, cafeteria, uh, and then the same four buttons at the bottom as well. Then this is a look at like the PowerSchool page. It would just have a big launch button here to launch the PowerSchool app on the device. Uh, I felt like that would be better than trying to integrate uh, the PowerSchool into the app because then we're using the native app from the company. Uh, but information we included here was about password resets, how they could get that fixed. Um, possibly there would be a form later that they could hit a button here to open it up and send a thing for a reset. Uh, default login information, so if they needed that, possibly maybe that needs to be out because of a security issue, I'm not sure. And then maybe some power school related things like attendance policies or grading policies could go in here as well. All right, and then the last one I have is a student message board. This would be a place where the students could post but not comment. Uh, so they could post a message, and then that would have to get put in probably by like another adult later or possibly straight to the message board, uh, depending. But they have drop-down arrows, so it would have the subject, the date, and then when it was posted, and information, and we would know who it was posted by down here at the bottom. Um, and then it would drop down and then those are the buttons. So that's my thought for my app. I hope you liked it. Uh, my reviewer kind of thought it was a pretty good idea and uh, there's a little work to do with it just yet, but I think it could go a long way to help students uh, discover better use of their devices and teachers and other people to keep on top of things. So thanks.